Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the long and a very painful blind playthrough of a legendary uh, non-Iron Man difficulty. This uh, is a long game, I realize it, but this is also the last enter the rune and we got the prime team with us. Everybody is finally level 7, just look at that. Mm. Such a beautiful view. We got them fully equipped, ready and very much able to do this. E and the Butcherons with the ancient weapon here. What we're now doing is mostly speed upgrades and for the frontliners we're going to go a bit more into strength and sometimes willpower. I mean, the team itself is already ultra strong. It's just a matter of uh, getting faster, having more willpower and being even more imbalanced and OP. And we landed. Let's go, boys. And it's pretty much in, a, in the low ground once again. Oh, I know this map relatively well, but this time we're coming from the other side. Interesting. Everybody's frenzied. I could also give everybody extra armor. I mean, hmm, do we want to do that? I want to test it, so might as well. Cool, everybody has a bit more armor than before. Ian moves up. Taking the minimum steps, because after the jump we can continue to move on. Alright, we got his best buddy Dranks here. Who's never shy in giving Ian a few more actions. Ian uh, begins with the reset, then decides to dash up. Teach this guy a lesson. Apparently we're not finding anything. That is unfortunate. Let's check the other side. We're moving up. Shattered Realm. Has his own support staff. There we go. A bit more onslaught. And we're jumping up. Clearance, yes, please. Oh, come on. Why can't we just jump there? Not sure if our weapon will deal enough damage to immediately strike him hmm okay before we're doing that let's continue here dashing up the 
yeah, I figured we would run into more enemies. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. So where are all of the enemies? We got one there. And a couple more over there. Okay. kidding me three of you are hiding right here <laughs> okay good Owens continues is not taking no for an answer. And puts himself into cover. Not a bad run at all. He killed approximately eight or nine with that we should be good to rush in one two three and four Okay, worked like a charm. That thing must have like zero will points. No, but we know that we have killed 12 because he lost uh, 24 will points. And we're moving over in order to get ready to completely and utterly slaughter that guy. It's funny how these missions at the beginning used to be like ultra terrifying. Granted, the first one that I've uh, that I've gotten was one uh, with with the invisible sentries that also had fire damage, and I would still argue that the fire damage is potentially one of the most level ones uh, overall. So if I had a if I had a choice. I would say that is the worst. Second worst being Oricalcum, because that negates like really heavy weapon hits on top of their ultra high armor. So that's just an unfortunate combination to begin with. The others, like the ones that we just had, are reasonably easy, I would say. With a fully mixed team, that is. I 
think the reset ability is potentially a bit too strong. At least that would be my reading. That combined with weapons that typically cost like two or three... Um, two or three uh, ability points. Well, not two. Two ability points, the melee weapons. And then getting them with the torso for one. I think it's the overall combination that just makes it really tough to counter. End of turn. Inappropriate Murphy runs up. Okay, well, so much for sneaking in. Okay, well, tell you what. Moving in. Moving up. And let's start to really, really hurt this guy. We're at it. Mark for death. <laughs> Nine hundred. Nine hundred damage. Spot ability shifting tactic is still unbeaten. Cool, we got six skill points on top of everybody getting five skill points, and it seems that skill points are the new master currency for the prime team. Because we need so many in order to level them up. Just to get more hit points and more willpower, more speed. And as you have seen, there is there is no point where you have like too much of it. Granted though, if, uh, if you can do two cycles of your entire abilities and you're still not out of uh, them, that's already uh, relatively good. Or if... An inappropriate Murphy just hastes everyone and gives everyone plus 20 armor just on uh, on top. That's also really, really good. The ability overall, like 20 armor, I need to remember that we do have that. It is a ludicrously strong ability. Okay. We want to go there. <coughs> S 
So. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Pandora Nest has been discovered, really? <sighs> like, how bad is this one? It's just a fresh nest. Might as well take TM at 9 and destroy it, or once this here is available, if we can fly over, then I would do that. Just double checking that this haven here isn't going bust. Fifty percent. No, seems fine. We'll do that mission in a second. Okay, let's do this mission first. And we're going to do the other mission afterwards. So double checking. We wanted more hit points on our main characters here. That's one. And the frontliners, not the main characters. They're all main characters. And that's two. Okay. We have landed. Why are there aliens in our back? What is wrong with you guys? Dilly moves up and spots out the bane of our existence. Stupid poison worms. And even more stupid face suckers. Good. I will deal with both of them personally. In the meantime, Shattered Realm moves up. Moving over to here, because last time we've got ambushed from there. Realizing there's no one there. And going into cover. Great. Rail does the same on the other side. All our moves into full cover. Ranks waits for a good support position. And JP Pauly, frankly, can just move in and wait here. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. Next time we're just going to... Oh no, we could throw the turret. My bad. He's level 7 now, of course he can throw a turret. Tch. What a question. Of course he can. Psyken, please. Of course he can throw a turret. Okay, apparently 
Those aliens are frustrated and are just literally attacking furniture at this point. Please don't tell me that the entire base only consists out of three aliens. I will take that as a personal insult. No one. Wow. My first reaction is why? Why is there no one here? Mind you, we do have uh, the sensor cap with Shattered Realm, so if there was someone here, we would just notice them automatically. I don't know what to say. It's a bit disappointing to see that there is no one here. Okay, on the very, very very other side of the entire map there is a face up well congratulations that is a truly horrifying beast of an enemy but if we play our cards right we might be able to overcome that face sucker in all fairness maybe there is someone big hiding uh, back there. I should be cocky, but it's disappointing to see how little enemies we're really facing here. hidden enemy Ian jumps up be able to overcome this unbelievably dangerous foe. I don't know. Hard to tell. Yep, we're sticking together. No exceptions here. Ranks freeze up the ladder and it might be really just worms and mind suckers can't believe that that is a serious uh, set of enemies I don't know what exactly happened maybe this base had the Skrilla destroyed or I don't know what what not happened. 
But it seems to me as if... Oh, okay, okay. Well, things just changed. Oh, look at you. All of a sudden, the enemies are coming out. Cool. measure we're taking him completely out good but is no no more problem Uh, killing our own uh, troops that's where the shout was coming from Where did the other... Uh, the other siren go? Can't have moved that far away, can it? I was pretty sure it went around the corner. Good armor penetrated. Normally I would want to not kill but rather capture them. That solved it and indeed she went all the way to there. Unbelievable, right? Quite a long journey.
gotta congratulate her for it because that was a good that was a powerful play one two and three And paralyzed. Okay. Okay, end of turn. Well, I'm very sure we're going to regret uh, standing right here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yes. <sighs> Euler moves up. Quick aim. Grell unfortunately need, needs to take a break this turn. And Ian still has the hangover from last round where he got war screamed. Just to make sure that he's not jumping into us and beating us completely unconscious. Yeah, Dilly G will handle all of the worms. Where's that new guy? Uh, maybe Dilly needs some help up uh, over there. At the beginning I thought, well, this base seemed, uh, seemed to be a, an absolute joke, but it was just a matter of enemies are not showing themselves. There's another mind sucker right in front of us. Shattered moves in and let's get this guy. Ranks follows, hands over an onslaught. We don't have enough will points. Mm. Moving up. Stealing actions.
going all the way over here because I need repairs. JP Poly does exactly that. Repair compared with the fact that you're not losing that body part and I don't need to uh, actually uh, pay for it. It's a really strong combination. Yeah, can't dash up. That is not good. Murphy moves up. We are rushing over. Two and back into cover. Overwatch. Now we don't want to kill this guy. Going to go over there and next turn we're just getting both of uh, the uh, both of uh, the enemies there killed. Uh, come on. to test something because I have not yet tested that ability it's the remove mind uh, sucker ability so what exactly does that do okay so it automatically removes that guy fair enough is it worth a charge Potentially not, but it's a neat little trick. Okay, we got everything under control here. I think that's the last guy. Oh, you think this is going to save you? No, he blocked the ladder. You are absolutely kidding me, right? Oh, <laughs> what a power move. Unreal. <laughs> that was that was an absolute power move.
Oh, I'll get you, buddy. End of turn. Good. He jumped down and that saved his little rear for one more round. Yeah, I think mutagens in the end game seem to become like a almost a commodity. You can gain a lot of them. I potentially should have gotten uh, these uh, living creatures much earlier. But then again, I needed to equip six teams with armor and the mutagens were the easiest way to achieve that armor. Good armor, mind you. So maybe I wouldn't have had the chance, but would I be playing again on legendary difficulty? I would potentially go for paralysis weapons first and for mutagen lab because it's just incredible.